to limit his movement. By golly, if you can make your enemy paralyzed and they still want to fight, well, number one, you're fighting someone who's friggin' insane, but number two, do it. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Super Mario RPG. Last episode, we continued to progress deeper into Weapon World, growing ever closer to Smithy's location. It looks like we've come across his conveyor belt, his manufacturing facility, where he creates all of his nasty little friends. And to that effect, today, I think we might be putting him to an end? Either which way, we're starting with the chief. Mario, I'm surprised to see you here. But this is the end of the line for you. This is the closest you'll ever get to Smithy, so savor the moment. <sighs> you'll be fodder for my incredible invention, the gun yoke. The gun yoke? Oh god, he comes out of nowhere and exudes 33 points of damage onto Bowser, and the yoke itself does 21. That's not very fun. We've got a triple move. Why don't why don't we just clown car barrage them? Undoubtedly, the yoke will be weak against the ice part of this, I'd have to imagine. And the ninja chief might not enjoy part of it. The 280. That's not too terrible. Uh, let's punch the chief with the hammer, Mario. And then Snowy come out and confirm my suspicion about the cold element being effective against the gun yoke. Is that in fact the case? Yes, it is indeed. Beautiful. Fungus Spike. No, that's not right. And Breaker Beam. That sounds very offensive. Oh, boy. Yeah, it killed Mario and almost Bowser and Mallow, too. Let's swap Bowser out for Princess Peach so that she can group hug. I mean, really, she would only be healing the one. Okay, let's provide a comeback to Mario, I guess. And then Mario can heal Mallow, and then Mallow can attack. Yeah, I think that's the best, the best course of action here. 80 HP is enough for Mallow. It's not enough to give him full health, but gosh darn near it. 150 out of 169 is not something to shake a sneeze at, or you know what I'm saying, right? It's not something to be too terribly unhappy with. Snowy returns, another two or three something. Goodness me. Uh, Princess Peach, uh, again, healing duty, please and thank you. Let's use some therapy on the Mallow. Very nice. And now Mario has an opportunity to attack after, of course, the Fire Saber. Ha! Gets blocked. Um, I'm gonna actually just attack the Factory Chief again. He's got decent defense, doing only 100 points of damage with Mario's attack there. But it's 100 more points than, than he would have taken away prior. Right? It's a good, good, a good time to be optimistic. Don't stab the princess, you swine. Goodness me, she's gonna have to go to therapy. And she is her own therapist, and you know what that means. No? Neither do I. Anyways, the breaker beam's back. Ooh, isn't that just particularly heinous? Princess Peach is absolutely going to need to give us all a group hug after that heinous endeavor. Hopefully we survive. Frankly, 57, 91, and 70 for Mario, Peach, and Mallow's HP, respectively, is a pretty good opportunity for all of us to die. Thankfully, the enemies died. Heck yeah. We've been getting so lucky. Lucky, putting ourselves in a good position. Who's to say what the actuality of it is? We've been doing well. The production line hasn't halted. Look, Mario, this is where the weapons come from. Yeah, I'm guessing that that green switch will stop production, perhaps? This must be where Smithy makes his weapons. To find the last star piece and stop the factory, we've got to defeat him first. Mario, there's no turning back now. Are you ready? Our quest is almost over, and when the time comes, I'm going to have gas. So, you know, prepare yourself. I've been eating a lot of burritos lately, and oh boy! We didn't bring any Pepto. So... The green button, very much like the last green button, activates the claw, therefore taking us to the hole. The hole that the enemies are emerging from. They go out, we go in. What's gonna happen? We're gonna win. And is this Smithy? I mean, he do be looking like he be doing some smithing. Goodness gracious. Hey, there's the last star piece. Oh, it's right on his friggin' chest. <laughs> Already finished your tour of the factory, huh? All right, then. How about a little demonstration? <laughs> um, yo, Smithy. 
stop making those things and hand over the star piece uh, now. Mario says, jump, jump. <laughs> so you're Mario. Looks like we're going to have a little dispute over the star. Just hand it over and get out of my castle. My, my. We're a little touchy today, aren't we? You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. You see, I used the bathroom on the second floor and the seat cushion was large enough for me. Bowser, you've got excellent taste. Please, don't make us go through anymore. Just give us a star now. Huh. <laughs> Better yet, why don't you give me your stars? Why, then I could easily conquer this world. Then we could get rid of all wishes and create a world filled with weapons. We could create the United States of America. I'll crush you all. Ah! Oh boy, well, it looks like the final fight is upon us. Or shall I say, the first phase of the final fight. Uh, Mario bosses, RPG bosses in general, tend to happen these things in phased approaches, so I'd have to imagine that that's also going to be the case here. Uh, let's try a psych bomb first and for- oh, there's a smelter. Oh, I didn't even notice that that was part of this, but thanks to that, now I do. Mash that 8 button and blow this boy's body up or something. What's his magic defense like? Eh, nothing spectacular. Can't block his sledge. Ow. Yeah, no, you can't block it. It's as big as the whole friggin' stage itself. Physical defense. Eh. He's got a roughly equal physical and magical defense situation going on there. Smithy does. So I think we'll just stick with what's best for each individual person, right? It's good for Mallow and good for Mario to do magic and then physical, respectively. Princess Peach, you are going to provide many hugs. All right? You are the healer, and we'll just... Keep you there, I guess. Until someone dies. Hopefully not Peach. If Peach dies, well then, we will all be the cries. And I don't like that, because we'll get no prize. Alright, Mallow. Another big snowy here. I mean, I guess it would make some semblance of sense, too, to experiment with Mallow, perhaps? He does have the ability to do more than one element. And I guess we could, we could check out the thunder to see if either of these dudes are particularly weak against it. Something gross oozes out of the smelter. A hideous demon is crafted by Smithy, called Shiper. Disturbing. Peach, therapy to the Mallow, please and thank you. And... Alright, so we are kind of running out of flower points. I wanted to use Fireball here on Smithy. You know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use Ultra Fireball instead, so that everyone gets fire. And we'll see what that means. Uh, okay, so the smelter is resistant against it. Lo and behold, not a surprise, considering it's like spitting out hot liquid friggin' metal. Makes complete sense. And it is weak to it, but everyone else is just the same. And given the fact that it only did two or took two, I think that we would be probably best served using that as opposed to Snowy. Group hog, everyone! And that'll allow us to get one more turn of it without having to take a turn to heal. I'm gonna have Mario punch the Shiper. We don't need to be dealing with you, all right? You're out of your league! The adults are having a conversation. I'm gonna call it a conversation? It's very violent, to be honest with you. And Smithy's taking his opportunity here to craft up another demon, another Shiper. Okay, well. So the question then becomes, is it a, g oh no. Okay, Princess Peach, we gotta use Tadpole Cola. I suppose, so that we can all heal a little bit and not die. The question becomes, though, does it make sense to get rid of the Shiper? Like, if we get rid of the Shiper, does it encourage Smithy to then churn out another dude? Or will he just always be churning out dudes and getting rid of the Shy Guy is a good call? Because otherwise they would build in numbers, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to lean that direction. Better safe than sorry. And Mallow, I need you... I need you to... What? HP ran. I was like, where's the heal? I need you to heal Mario. We're, we're, we're in dire sort of straits already here because we had to take a turn off from healing with Princess Peach. But we should be able to survive. Yes, we can. Group hug. Very good. Bring it all in, people. Now we're at max health once more. Meteor swarm? That sounds dangerous. It's swarming meteors. Oh my god. Yeah, it was dangerous. Jiminy Christmas. 
Mario? Why don't, why don't you feed the princess a mushroom there? <laughs> she looks hungry. We need her alive more than anyone because she's the healer. And then we will have Mallow do another Thunderbolt. Maybe we can not time it up. All right. So I might start doing something better. I just realized that I completely misread how much damage that was actually doing to Smithy. I thought it was doing 200 to Smithy. It did 20. Oh, and Mallow's about to die here anyways. Mm. Bananas. Bananas, bananas, bananas. All right, Peach, I need big heal. Please and thank you. And Fire Saber. No. No, no, thank you. No, please. Ultra Fireball is not going to be effective against the Smelter. But it is going to work against everyone else. So I'm just going to do it. We've got three people to, to worry about there. Two people that need to go. They didn't go. And then now let's bring out Bowser. He can do the Mecha Koopa Stomp, which should be effective against everyone, right? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't super strong against, you know, half of them. But I'll take it. And then Princess Peach, you don't actually need to heal this time. We can, we can heal our... FP situation. Let's do a royal one. So it brings us all the way up to our 69, our nice cap. And we got a freebie, too. Look at that. Beautiful. Bowser, bring it back. Mecha Koopa stomp all over the swamp. Boom, shakalaka. And then Mario. Hmm. Hmm. I'd really like to have Mallow here instead of Mario, to be honest with you. <laughs> ah! Hammer Smithy right in his star piece. And more smelting. Delicious. It's very unsightly how it excretes the juices there. And it's also very unsightly how every time one of these dudes is spawned, they immediately start throwing the sword dance. I really don't like it. It is a very effective maneuver, so clearly I'm not surprised that they do that. But I don't like it. Gosh darn it, I don't like it. Mecha Koopa Stomp. Mega Koopa, stop! Very good. So I'm noticing too that Smithy and the Smelter have like the same defense for that. They both received only 70. So that's not like a huge benefit. I don't know. Whatever. We'll we'll stick with our plan. I think it's working as much as it, it, as it could. I don't know. Perhaps we should reevaluate? No time to doubt yourself now, LP. It's working, all right? We're staying alive. We have all the supplies to keep this up, too. So long as we don't, I don't know, experience any any sort of horrible luck, we have the uh, the ability to keep this going. So Bowser can't do Mecha Koopa Stomp, and we do need to drink some syrup. Okay, fine. Bowser's turn will be occupied drinking syrup. Mario's turn is going to be spent healing with a... We got it. There's a Tadpole Cola. And then Peach is also going to heal us. I just want this to happen first because, yeah, that something else is going to happen here that it might be particularly <laughs> dangerous. I think he's just going to spawn another dude, though. Lo and behold, that is the case. And the dude. Oh, that dude did sword rain. There we go. See, I knew it was coming. I knew something evil was going to happen. What's the trip move? Starry shell spike. All right. Well, let's let's do a heal first. A group hug for all parties involved. Very good. Not the meteor swarm. Well, dude, all right, so things are getting a little bit testier right now. Uh, we need two peaches. Someone's going to die. Let's do a starry shell spike. I don't think... Th this is not a maneuver that I've seen, this triple move. We're in the desert. I don't know where that happened. Oh! Nice! That was very nice. You'd think being, you know, a superstar that Bowser would have inflicted more damage than that. But hey, he killed two of the four. I'll take it. And Princess Peach, group hug. All very much need a heal. There we go. We are all near max health. Aha! Block it. And then Mecha Koopa stomp on these two beefers. Cool. Mario, punch Smithy, please. 88. Eh. Now, a question I have, something I'm considering, is swapping Bowser out with Mallow's corpse and then having Peach revive him. Just because we'd then be able to use the Thought Peak. 
Hmm. I mean, I guess we have to wait to that point anyways. Let's use... Where is it? Rock candy. Let's use that. See how good that is for us. It's more of a star candy in this regard. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And we got a freebie. <laughs> oh, isn't it divine? All right, Bowser. Bring out the corpse. And then Mario... Let's do another rock candy. We got a freebie. It's like it never even happened. This is going to be a free 400 points of damage on this turn to each individual person, which is great. And we got another freebie? Well, shoot, we may as well keep using them. No! Ugh. 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 No matter how hard you hit the ground, it's not going to make it a burrito. Calm down, Smith. Your head looks like something. Don't get so worked up thinking your blood pressure. You're on that medicine, remember? Hey, we just built this yesterday, and the foundation's very weak. So stop shaking the floor! How utterly annoying! Oh, what the... How in the heck? Looks like we're moving on to phase two! Are we gonna fight in the sky? What is it, like Gandalf and the Balrog? Oh no, we've... Oh, we've gone somewhere heinous. Somewhere very evil-looking. And it looks like it's just us again... Ooh, woo, he says. <laughs> I'm burning. Seething never before have I felt. It is time for my medication. I'll show you my real form. I will show you my real power. I will teach you respect, and I shall have my revenge. <laughs> Purple light. He's going Super Saiyan. Hmm. No, he has devolved into something else entirely. Um, there's no need to call names now, Smithy. And look at this. Mallow's been revived. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's take this freebie here to Thought Peak. We got, we got two Smithies? What now? I don't like that. Let's do Top Smithy, I suppose. <laughs> top Smithy got 8,000, 8,000, 8,000. What? <coughs> oh. mm, you're not bad. That could be a problem. 8,000 HP? That's a lot, dude. That's... That's 40 star reigns. And his head has become tank. What's that, man? I don't like the Ultra Fireball. <laughs> oh, kill him! Kill him! Hopefully that's very effective. It is normally effective. And then... Mallow, I'm actually going to have you drink up some some syrup so that we can just not necessarily have to worry about these sort of problems. These problems being a lack of FP. Oh, he blasted the princess. The princess don't need that right now. The princess needs to stay healthy so that we can continue to rely upon her for healing. Ow. He hit the plumber. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. I might do another ultra fireball. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do another rock candy. I know we need to do 40 of them in order to do the friggin' thing. The thing being kill this guy. But hey, I mean, 200, 200, that's pretty solid. Now, let's do a thought peek on the base smithy. If top smithy is 8,000, bottom smithy, 6, ooh, 679? Hmm. Hmm. Very peculiar. Perhaps we should focus in our attacks and our energy on bottom smithy? Ooh, stop shooting me. This dude's so very American. I hate it. Let's just continue to target both if it's convenient. And he'll be gone relatively quickly. Star Rain seems like a good way to bring the pain. He's got a star on his chest, but I don't think that he'll be able to rest if we invest in, well, this maneuver. It's probably Mallow's best, or at least it's my favorite, and it's type. Could be effective against him, because he's like the big bad, the big evil, and this is like good. Yeah, that's pretty solid. No. No black no blast mallow. Alright? No blast mallow. And was that 14 or 16 that mallow requires for that? Hmm. I don't rightly remember. It's fine. Uh, because we are just going to have Mario drink up some syrup. So that no matter what, Mallow will be able to do it again. And then that might be enough to kill the bottom. Uh, it's 14 anyway, so good to know. Good to know for future, you know, reference. I'll probably forget. But for now, I remember. It's 14. 
Look at this, an LP can remember things for at least 15 seconds. After that, well, that's anyone's guess, but we might not need it for a whole lot longer because this hopefully will kill the base. 202, not enough, not enough, not enough. Uh, Peach, you need to heal your seal, please and thank you. Perfect, and then Mario, well, nope. Excuse me, no way to treat a princess. Let's do Ultra Fireball, this may kill the base top, or the base, I will say the base topper. Still no, the base persists. This will surely do it. If it doesn't, then, well, I don't know math any, oh no. My timing, I can't move. Smithy's body can't attack. Ah, I'm resistant against that. Whatever that was, that sort of weaponry. <laughs> um, let's, uh, we don't have to heal anyone, so drink a syrup, Princess Peach. Take a break and suck down some concentrated sugar. Very good. Diabetes? No, who cares? Uh, Mario? Um, let's just do a normal attack. What does that do? 122? That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. And... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not a shocker. I'm very terrible at timing this up, but... Oh, he's weak against it. <laughs> oh, you're screwed. You're screwed, my friend. Princess Peach is going to slap you with a fan. It does a lot of damage, actually. 73. But goodness me, Mallow's Thunderbolt. If I... A shocker. If I can time this up, that's going to be so effective. Still didn't do it, but it's doing almost 300. Oh, so he targets him after that. Haha! -ha! His body is back. Uh, I don't like that. So the body comes and goes. Let's do a psych bomb. We gotta tap A for this, right? This this should be effective. You know, tank defense, if you put a grenade inside of a tank, that tank probably ain't gonna tank very much anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm no tankologist. I was in the army. I, d I did foot soldier stuff. But you, you think about putting an explosive in any sort of confined location, I can't imagine it'd be particularly, well, beneficial for its operation. So the base is not weak to it. Interesting. Only the smithy headpiece is weak to that. Fascinating. Let's do another psych bomb, and then Mario is going to drink his dose of syrup. And I'm just going to put Mallow back to... Uh, Ooh, something changes. So does his resistance change here? Now I'm curious. Yikes. What the heck is going on here? Hideous. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. It's got scary little beady eyes that are all shifty. I, I feel almost bad for it. Let let's put it out of its misery, Mallow. Give it the old sprinkle dingle. Oh, it's res look at that. So it's resistant did change. Is it going to be weak against a different type of element now, perhaps? No, we don't have a whole lot of time to, to figure that out because Mario is dying. So give him some therapy there, princess. And I suppose with Mario, we can test out Fireball. Dang, even though we executed the action command, it's still the 37. Uh, Ultra Fireball? Super Fireball. Let's just do Super. And... it's re Oh, maybe it's resistant against everything. All right, last turn. Last, uh, last guess, shall we say. The Star Rain. Now, this is not, as I understand it, explicitly elemental. This is its own thing, all right? It's not fire. It's not ice. It's not electricity. It's the power of the stars. So if they're resistant against this, this just means he's resistant against all types of magic. But thankfully, no matter what, this hits both of them, so it will do some damage to the base. It did do some damage to the base, and it did do some damage to the top as well, but he's got a significant amount of magic defense, it would seem, because it only did 48, no matter the fact that it was a perfect maneuver. So... I'm going to have to take this opportunity, then, to have Mario punch it. Get him. Oh, he's very weak against that. Look at that. Okay. Let's go to town on him. Clap. Goodness me. Arrow rain? No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Time for a group hug, everybody. Bring it together now, y'all. And we're all maxed out. Ha-ha. Please refrain from slapping the princess in such a way, you sick boy. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage with physical attacks here. Mario and Mallow combining for almost 500 points. Dark Star? No, thank you. I, uh, I'm gonna have to pass, okay? You know, it's very kind of you to offer me such a giant display of your affection. 
but it's just not for me. This is not for me. The face changes once more. Into what? Into a, a honeycomb? What is it, Banjo-Kazooie? All right, so I'm guessing that this is going to be strong against physical attacks now, huh? Let's try this. What does what a super fireball do here? I'm curious. It's resistant. What does a... Okay, so it's not super duper strong against physical attacks. It's still fine. Ha! Gotcha. And Mario, hit him. Mallow, you do the same! And now we've got a 100% mover. Or triple move. Uh, what would that be? Healing rainbow? No, I don't want that. So I'm going to swap out. Hmm. I'm going to do star riders. It focuses in everything onto one enemy, a.k.a. Smithy. And I think that's a beneficial maneuver here. 258, pretty solid. All things considered, the face changes once more. Didn't like that very much, huh? The honeycomb didn't didn't do it for you, Smithy? No, what are you now, a mailbox? Oh, he's a chest. I see, punch the chest. Or hit, yeah, hammer the chest. Ooh, oh my goodness, that was a loud noise. He has silenced Gino. Don't love it, Star Rain. Can we get some damage here? Can we bring the pain? The body? Yes, of course. I'm curious to see if the magic defense from the two phases back also persists and does, you know, close to 50 damage to the top half of him. Hopefully that's not the case and we can get some triple digit action, but either which way we probably will get some damage. Perfect. Yeah, 165. That's even better. I can't move. So Smithy's body's been incapacitated. We're going to swap Gino back out for the princess so that we can continue to heal as necessary. But for the time being, we are just going to suck down some more syrup. Everyone's getting diabetes today. We're drinking syrup by the gallon. And it's amazing. It's like Buddy the Elf. All right, let's just do a normal hammer with Mario. 138, perfect. What are you going to get? A Scarecrow? No one needs a Scarecrow. All right, we resist it. Aha! Princess Peach got Scarecrow eyes, though, which is actually really, uh, terrifying. Um, because if we need to, if we need to heal, we will not have the opportunity to group heal. Star Rain once more, uh, getting a perfect here. Well, shoot, the body is broken. I mm, could have done without. I could have tried the Thunderbolt. Whatever. The choice has been made. There's no undo. There's no Command Z, so to speak, here. I mean, I could mash Command Z on my computer that's recording this right now, but... I'll probably just do terrible things to it. We don't want it. Perfect, 175. Princess Peach. Oh, she can heal. That's right, you can do specials when you are scarecrowized. You just cannot use items or attack. Um, hmm. Let's just wait. Let's just defend. I don't want to use up any of that. And then Mario. Big hammer to the question mark. Perfect. Scare. Oh, we already proved our resistance to that, buddy. You can't do nothing with that. Uh-uh. Let's, let's give him a shocker. He looks metallic. You'd think this would always be like... No, he's resistant against it. Literally only physical attacks. Well, not elemental, right? Thunder and fire don't seem to work. Maybe Snowy would work? Frankly, I don't see any real incentive to, uh, to testing that out. Uh, no thank you. No thank you. I'm gonna have to ask you to refrain. So, Mario, a regular attack to Smithy? No, a regular attack to Smithy's body. I'm starting to see why it makes sense to do it that way. Because it limits his attack to only that. To only being able to do some sort of status effect. If he can't move. If he can move, he can bring the friggin' giant Thor hammer Mjolnir down on the foreheads of us. Whew, didn't do too hot there. Psych Bomb might make some sense, too, from an offensive standpoint. Let's see what sort of sort of damage the princess can create oh yeah very solid very solid the face changes once more to what the last few phases of the face have oh back to the honeycomb this dude we already know is resistant so we're just gonna hit him with mario boom shaka laka and mallow i guess we'll do the same yeah because i want to save some some flower points for princess peach to potentially heal us. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, actually, too, because Prince of Peace needs a Psych Bomb. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Psych Bomb right now. Right, let's get some, get some offensive maneuvers here, all right? We need to kill this guy more than anything. And we don't actually need to heal all that much right now. Aha! We block you, boy. And then, Mario, you can drink some syrup. 
very much uh, exceeding the daily recommended dose. You there listening, do not drink six to seven cups of syrup in any one day. You will be sick. I promise you. Star Rain, hopefully we can do a little bit better than the last one, which I think capped out at like three hits. If we can get double digits here. We'll do pretty well. Even though, even though the lack thereof uh, successful hits still did near 100 to the top and bottom. So it's a pretty powerful move in its own right, whether or not you're able to take full advantage of the action command like we just did there. Beautiful. And why not another Psych Bomb? Shoot. Let's do it. Very nice. We're doing a crap ton of damage. We have to be getting close to 8,000 del. We really do. I can't move. Body can't attack anymore, which means he can't do jack diddly anything. Hammer the poor defenseless hexagon. And Mallow? Um. You know what? Um. Attack. There we go. We'll have Princess Peach drink a, uh, oh, look, there's Princess Peach back to normal. Drink a maple syrup. And we're very close, very close to full HP. Or not full, well, we are very close to full HP all around. Only Mario's missing 37, but we're also very close to full FP. The face changes again to a new thing or something we've already seen. Back to the tank. Look at that, which we know is weak against, oh, God. <laughs> Mario, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just have you drink a thing real quick, or eat a eat a mushroom. Yeah, eh, we're gonna max mushroom. We got ten of those that replenishes all HP. It's yellow, may as well. But the shocker we know is extraordinarily effective against this. Aha! Two thirty, beautiful. No, please, Princess Peach, give Mario therapy. <laughs> he crazy. Did you see what just happened to him? Goodness me, Mario, your turn to hammer that tank. And then Mallow, perhaps we can time this up. No, I still cannot get that. Thankfully, he's so gosh darn weak against it that it does a huge amount of damage. And now he's back. Very good, Smithy's body. No, thank you. I'm going to psych bomb you. And hopefully, get rid of that body here quickly. Probably not super quickly. It's going to take a few turns. Uh, it's got like 600 damage, right? Or 600 HP? I think it was like 690. And the fireball of Mario's is not super effective against the top. So maybe we just want to drink up some syrup here. And then allow Mallow to do his star rain. And hit both of them. I would like to continue to do the electrical attacks with Mallow since they're so gosh darn effective against the tank. But I do think it makes sense to, uh, well, to limit his movement, by golly. If you can make your enemy paralyzed and they still want to fight. Well, number one, you're fighting someone who's friggin' insane. But number two, do it. All right, that's only going to help your chances when he stops to dance. No blast. Oh, you blasted the princess, you sick freak. Gosh darn it. He had to waste her, her turn. Oh, now you're going to hit her twice. He's, he's caught on to us. It would seem Mario feed the princess a mushroom. All right, stare Smithy in the eye as you shovel fungus down her throat. It's intimidating. And more star rain from Mallow. I think this will actually be enough to get rid of the man's legs for like the seventh time. You know, we're doing pretty well. We haven't beat him, obviously, but we ha I think our the strategy is working out fantastically. Granted, if it goes a whole lot longer, we it's not a completely sustainable strategy, like not indefinitely, for goodness sakes, but eh, we, we could stand to go perhaps, I don't know, 10 more, 10 more turns, maybe even more given our amount of, like, honey and stuff. These, oh, Mallow! Mario, feed Mallow a mushroom. Yes, please. And then Mallow will star rain, and Princess Peach will drink some syrup. Yes, that is the maneuver! This poor dude's been jumped upon so many times. Smithy, you should probably just call it quits here soon. I'd have to imagine we gotta be getting real close to that 8,000. If we get an opportunity... I'd like to use another thought peek with Mallow just to just to double check, just to get a status report, so to speak, on how we're how we're doing, you know? 200 on each, very nice. Can't move. All right, cool. This is a perfect opportunity for it. Now that Smithy can't move, even though he does do a crap ton of damage when he shoots that blast. Goodness gracious! Therapy on the Mario, please, princess. Very good. And then Mario, drink up a syrup. There yeah, we are running out of syrup pretty significantly here. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Be optimistic, LP. We can do this, don't you see? And a thought peek on the smithy. What has he got going on? Oh. 
<laughs> Three, six, nine. Boy, that's fine. You're going to be sublime. When I kill you this turn. Ha ha. 79. We need what? Three something? We got 179 there. If we can get, if we can do this, if we can get the maneuver here, if we can get the action command, that should do it. We didn't get the action command, but we did it! Yes! Now wait, does that just mean his face changes? Or did we actually do it? By golly, I think we actually did it! Explosions! Uh, combust! All over the place! And Smithy can't believe it. Ha ha ha! I finished! Done for! You... You meddlers! <laughs> meddlers, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. I mean, it's not wrong, right? Technically, we are meddling. More than anything, we're helping. All right, gosh darn it, we're heroes! Who would we be if we didn't meddle in evildoers business like this? Let me get that yellow star. The final one. Come on, Mario. Send the last one way up high. Yeah. Let's do that. Amid all this... destruction... We have acquired all of the star pieces. Very nice. Yay! Everyone's so pleased. What happens now? I was expecting text. <laughs> it was like, ah, these. Okay, everyone nods to one another. Thank you, everyone. Hmm. The Star Road is back to normal, and... And now Gino can leave us. See you later, dude. We've helped everyone. We rescued the princess, introduced Mallow to his parents, claimed his spot in line for the throne, retained Bowser's keep, and Mario grew 17 new hairs on his mustache. Truly everyone got what they were after in this adventure. Beautiful cutscenes. Again, I know I've mentioned it a time or two before, but... Can't imagine the Super Nintendo had anything remotely like this. This is excellent. Probably super duper cool, super nostalgic for people that grew up playing this game. Oh, Gino has shrunk down a little bit. Mario can't friggin' believe it! And the spirit bounces on everyone's forehead. See you later. It was really cool how you did the whole... The, the, the thing with the weapons, with, with the handguns and stuff. An amazing spirit with an affinity for weaponry. Couldn't have done it without you. Bye! Bye, Gino. Or the spirit that was housed inside of Gino. Whatever your name is. Hi. Pretty. How oh, very beautiful. Ah, the fruits of our labor. A beautiful star. Oh, and this dude's still there. His dead carcass stuck in Bowser's keep. Are we gonna just leave, leave that there? I thought it would disappear. <laughs> okay, there it goes. I was like, goodness me. That's kind of morbid. It's a giant friggin' corpse. I guess there's a few a few decorations as fitting for an evil lair now, are there? We get the credits. We get the credits right now. No little... And they all lived happily ever after or anything like that. Okay, here we go. We got Todovsky teaching the Toad Choir. Oh no, uh, the Frog Sage comes up out of the stage. We've returned the doll to the child toad. Cute. I wondered about that. We, we just took his toy and never looked back. I'm glad that we returned it when we were done with it. Croco competing in the Yoshi races. Even though they're going the opposite direction. And he... Oh, he had the wrong idea. He'd be feeding snacks to his competitor. I mean, I get what you're, kind of, what you're thinking of there, man. You kind of want to distract him. 
Dodo became a, a minister? <laughs> Dodo took an act of celibacy, an oath of celibacy, and now sees to the church, marrying Valentina and friggin' Beezlebub. Goodness me. Booster. There we go. Everyone watches in Monster Town as the star shakes it. We've still got to go back to Monster Town. By the way, look at Johnny. Look at Johnny, the proud pirate king, searching for the One Piece. And then Mallow reunited with his parents. They, they put a strange bed in front of the castle. I guess they don't want anyone breaking in anymore like we did. But yes, no, this is the end of the game properly, but there is some in-game stuff we want to do. Chiefly, I want to go kill Kulex. <laughs> I think we may yet be prepared for that now. Fingers crossed, I suppose. There's no guarantee of anything, but if the battle with Smithy is indicative of anything, it's that we have a strategy. You know, heal and keel. And then kind of just do that cyclically. Cyclically, Bowser was repairing his keep, which was nice to see, and then everyone reunites on the stage to give us a thumbs up. Thanks, y'all. I'm glad they, they brought the little corpse of Gino. Cute. Love it. Now, I wonder if we wouldn't have gone to see, like, some of those optional people you saw them scattered throughout if they wouldn't have shown up on this. Or if they would have and be like, who the heck is that? <laughs> I don't remember them in my adventure. And you know, I'm speaking specifically of, like, the dojo master who we faced off to and lost a few times. Who's to say? Who's to say? Since 1996, based on the work of the original development staff. Oh, look at this! This is cute. I'm guessing this is what the original credit scene looked like. Luigi holding the baton, bringing up the lead. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Director, Ayako Morawaki. Yes, very good. So this is the credits. What a good game. What a good game. I started the Let's Play series off by saying that I never had the opportunity to play through the entirety of Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And I've always, always wanted to. There was a time where I was considering, you know, finding a way to get it and Let's Play it in the last couple of years. Uh, but when Nintendo announced plans to remaster, remake it, I mean, obviously the choice was made. Still, I want to play the original? Well, goodness gracious, for an introduction, I think this was fan-freaking-tastic. If you played both of these games, the original and this remake, I'd be very curious to see what your thoughts are on in comparison, or comparing the two of them. Uh, but from, like, a game standpoint alone, like, just speaking to this individually, it was so good. It was so good. I am inherently biased, right, because I prefer or really enjoy Mario RPGs. Uh, I'm not the greatest platformer. I guess I'm not the greatest RPG player either, but I love them. <laughs> I really do enjoy them, and this one tickled that same, like, Paper Mario, Mario RPG itch that is, is persistent. And I hope this means good things for that style of game going forward, right? We already know that the Thousand Year Door is getting a remake here in 2024. At the time of this recording, it's the end of 2023. So next year, we have that coming. And while I think that Mario RPG sold fairly well. I don't think it actually like blew out the box office or anything. I'd have to imagine that Mario the Thousand Year Door will largely do the same, if not a little bit better, due to the pure like online hype it has, mostly surrounding how expensive and difficult it is to get a GameCube copy. I think the combination, or hope the combination of those two sales, and obviously the reception, how they get, you know, critical acclaim, I hope slash think it's going to mean we're going to get more of this in the future, you know? Maybe not more remakes, but more new mainline titles, okay? And honestly, for the longest time, I was just wanting more Paper Mario in that style, right? I've played through Super Paper Mario and talked about already how it deviated from the, the RPG elements. It is fine, you know, for what it was, but I really would love more RPG games like this. More games where there is a defined, like, battle screen. You have to choose attack or special attacks or defend or items, things like that. There's experience points. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, and hope that the success and the reception of the remake here, next year's remake of Thousand Year Door, and anything else in between now and then that I may not be considering that could be a factor 
only help to push Nintendo further in that direction, right? Because it is a relatively, like, niche community, you know, the RPG community, the people that enjoy these types of games. It's not necessarily mainline, but it is a mainline in my heart, and I really hope for more. Look at this! It transitioned into the remake. Now, this looks like something you see at Disney World. That is beautiful. Johnny on the on the illuminated float. Anyways, uh, whether or not, um, I know I did a lot of talking there about goodness gracious. I hope it continues to be the case. It continues to uh, to get new games or remakes, or what have you. Uh, whether or not that's the case, right? Like even if they don't, even if they remake this and then Thousand Year Door and then two years down the line remake Mario 64 or something, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. We can take solace in the fact that these are great games that brought a lot of people joy, including myself. And I'm just happy that I was able to experience it. Happier yet that I was able to experience it with you. So thank you for watching this series, really. I haven't, I haven't said that enough, I don't think. So again, thank you. I'd like to give a shout out to, uh, to the supporters on Patreon as well as the YouTube members, Cal and JJ Cat. Couldn't do any of this without you guys. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in learning more about that, there's buttons below. But again, this is not the end of the series. So while I am thanking people, you're getting all sentimental. We've still got probably one more episode left where these people are going to go challenge Kudex. Hopefully that spirit comes down, all right? I need you to infest Gino's body once more. We need his offense. There we go. Yeah, bring that over here, Mallow. We need that. We need that, we need that, we need a handgun. Ooh wee! Big old Bowser. <laughs> he says. What does she see? Princess Peach sees something. It's fireworks! We're under attack! Oh! The celebration in the Mushroom Kingdom. The defeat of Smithy. And it's kind of... Celebrating the purging of enemies from Bowser's castle, the guy who had previously kidnapped the princess several times is kind of a funny thing. But I do suppose maybe all the inhabitants understand that this was about something bigger. It was more than that. It was about a cataclysmic end of the world if we had not succeeded. And more than that, the end of all wishes. Goodness me. Well, I've got a wish now. I wish that I'll see you with a follow-up episode tomorrow.